Hi guys, it's Sarah here, and if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, you definitely should so that you can stay updated whenever I post a new video and you can watch all of my previous videos. For today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make your very own hand sanitizer, which is great because it's antibacterial and it's great for the flu season and pretty much every season, and it can keep you clean and germ-free. So I hope you enjoy the video, and let's get on with it. For your DIY hand sanitizer, you're going to need some aloe vera gel, some rubbing alcohol, this is the active ingredient in our hand sanitizer and what kills all the germs. You will also need tea tree oil and an essential oil of choice, a small squeezy container, a half tablespoon, something to mix everything together, and a measuring cup. You're going to want to start by squeezing your aloe vera into your measuring cup. You should end up with about half a cup of aloe vera gel into your measuring cup. Now add half a tablespoon of your rubbing alcohol and as many drops of tea tree oil as you would like. The tea tree oil also helps to kill bacteria in your hand sanitizer. Now for scent, I'm going to add some peppermint essential oil to counteract the scent of the tea tree oil. Now mix everything together with your spatula or spoon. It should take a little while before everything is smooth and mixed together, and when you're done, it should be a jelly, pasty consistency like this. Now take out your container and fill it up with your hand sanitizer mixture. I'm not going to lie, this process was very time consuming and very messy, just because my container had a very small opening at the top. So I recommend to get a container with a bigger opening, or just to be very patient and slowly fill this as you can see I'm doing here. Then to clean up the mess, I used a paper towel and just dried off the top. Now just screw on your top of the container and your hand sanitizer is done and ready for use. But as always, I love decorating my containers just to make them more unique and my own. So I wrote hand sanitizer and added a bunch of stars and hearts to my container. Um, you can do whatever you want and be creative with this part. Make sure you're using Sharpie because any other marker won't really stick to the container. Now you can see me using my hand sanitizer. It works great and you don't really need as much as I put. I think I put way too much. And yeah, it works really well. It's a little bit drying so I recommend having some lotion handy. But other than that, it's really great. I hope you enjoy this DIY and try it yourself. Please let me know if you do in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. I love reading your comments, so definitely don't forget to leave a comment of what you liked about this video and what you want to see next on my channel. If you haven't watched my last video where I show you guys how to make your very own foaming soap, click down below to watch it. And if you still aren't subscribed, definitely go subscribe now so you can watch my future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.